Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry and Mowers and Blowers! Good afternoon. Um, I've been watching that show on Netflix called Turn, Washington Spies, about the Revolutionary War and spies and how the French helped the Americans to beat the British. Stayed up like all night watching all four seasons. Well, it took me like a week. Anyway, today I decided to come out here and because my friend Bill Martini refuses to come and take the transmission off of this piece of junk, right? I've decided that I'm going to take the transmission off and uh, throw the carcass away because it's just sitting on the side of my house. It drives me crazy. Anyway, I wanted to show you this. If you guys would remember, I wasn't able to remove this big wheel because some nut <laughs> actually had put the nut in backwards. I don't know how he got it on. You know what I mean? So, you know, you can't get the, you know what I mean. You can't take it off. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to try and take this damn wheel off and remove the transmission because I know the transmission probably works. First, I'm going to remove the transmission and cut. GoPro, stop recording. Just when I was starting to uh, remove the transmission from here, I got a text message from Frank the UPS guy. <laughs> he says, what are you, blind? You got a weed whacker sitting across the street from you, like three houses down. <laughs> so I'm like, really? So I run on over there and I just pull this out. It's a steel. In New York, we call it still. But I know you guys call it steel throughout America. Anyway, it's a steel FS-45. It's got no uh, shoot deflector, uh, string trimmer head deflector. You know, guard, yeah. Anyway, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I think the 45 is just a run of the mill uh, weed whacker from Home Depot. I think it's like 129, 130, something like that, you know? Let's see if it starts. Switch is I might as well let you see this closely. Switch is, uh, the O is off, the dash is on. It's through many, many years of <laughs> figuring out why it's O for off and dash for on, you know. Ooh, primer bulb seems to work. I'm pressing it and there is some gas in it. It's just choke. Choke. Let's give it a couple of rips. Ooh, ooh. Pop choke.
officially the easiest pick ever. Amazing. I guess the guy just threw it away because he was he was missing the cover, the uh, deflector. Because look, it looks like it just broke off. It's not like he took it off. It's broken. This is the this is the uh, base part of it. You know, it it attaches onto the shaft here. You know, and uh, just broke off over here. So I guess that's why he threw it away. But this runs fine. Let's try again. Damn, this is nice. Maybe I'll get a deflector and I'll keep it. No, I'm not gonna keep it, I got too many. All right, let's get to this uh, final thing. Here we go, it looks like there's two 7 sixteenths. Got some ratchet wrenches that I got from my buddy Robert Nighthawk when he came to visit me from Maryland. I gave him a deck and he brought me a toolbox full of tools. He also asked me what I needed the most recently and I told him, well, I could always use some uh, SAE ratchet wrenches because I have the millimeter ones and I hardly ever use them except for the 10 millimeter one, you know. So he got me some of these and uh, looks like if we just remove one, two of these here on this side, two of them on the other side, be good to go. So it took some doing, but I finally got the transmission out. I saw that that, that bracket that holds the transmission um, cable is still pretty good. And also this uh, side deflector door is good too. So I'll keep it and uh, just throw that in my uh, shed in case I need it.
So today we picked up a free steel FS45 Weed Whacker. Picked it up from a tip from Frank the UPS guy. Walked uh, three houses down, picked it up, started it a couple of times, pulled, pulled started a few times, and it started and ran just fine. I just need a uh, deflector guard. But anyway, nice fast pick. Maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I'll try to find a deflector. I don't know. I wanted to show you guys that solar floodlight that I put above my garage. As soon as somebody walks up the driveway, I want to show you how... Uh, how bright it is. There we go. It's nice. As you can see, that's my propeller LED light. It's super bright. And it screws right into your uh, light socket, you know? Provides a lot of great lighting. Shout out to Jason Stevens from Oakdale, Minnesota. Thanks a lot for buying a couple of stickers. Keep those sticker sales coming for videos coming every day. Thanks a lot for following me on this very short episode. Fastest pick, easiest pick in the world for something that's really nothing wrong with it. You know, sometimes you just find things like that. So thanks a lot for Frank uh, to Frank the UPS guy for giving me another tip on that FS45 steel weed whacker. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey Henry, it's Andy from the UK, AKA Mower Wizard. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowersandblowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.